Okay, found Jason in here. Tell him what you're trying to do. Oh, we're having our, uh, this is the air, air relief valve thing right. for the dishwasher. And it keeps really kicking a lot of water water up and it's going everywhere. So it's like- Something must be clogged. Maybe something's clogging it. So it's like putting more pressure. So I am having fun with the man with tool. <laughs> And I'm trying to blow it back out and see if, if I can figure out what the obstruction is, what's hindering it. I don't know. Okay. Water is, I mean, it, there's water like bubbling up. But then there's that thing that popped Something up. that, yeah, what is that? It's, uh, I don't know. It's some little valve thing, I think. But it's like, what's clogging it? Let me keep blowing it. So you push water down into the dishwasher from that valve, right? Then there's a tube that comes, I don't know if it's the tube that wraps around the side and then up, or there's a tube that goes out and drains all this out. And this is the filter, so that's why I think something... Clogged it. That's what I'm thinking. But where does that little attachment piece go? Oh, it slides down in a little thing that you kind of start to see it. Okay. So before, our dishwasher wasn't working, and we're trying to figure out what it was, and it's because this was plugged, and if it can't vent, it somehow senses it and won't, won't work. We got that fixed, and I pulled stuff out, but now it just bubbles so much water up, I'm wondering if I did something wrong with the, the pipe, so I don't know, I just, no. I mean... So this little thing, I don't know what it does, but it goes down here. It's a little stop valve, it looks it's like. It's a little stopper type thing that goes in there. It must flutter something. But otherwise there's no blockage. Nothing I mean, came out of it. That... No, nothing like unusual. These are the filters, I've already gone through them. Um, Jeez, the amount of work we've had on our dishwashers this year is ridiculous. Let's see how this works. Otherwise, all I can think is that maybe I've done something with the... Or maybe that valve was... Was that like that? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, it, it wasn't loose? It oh, man, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it was loose and we just... You didn't know. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to do this, uh, see what happens, and see if... Uh, um, see what happens. Otherwise, I might have to take it out and then check the drain... Cause there, the drain line, because there was one that was extra long because I had part of the old one, part of the new one, and maybe I made it too long, so now it's filling with water or something. I don't know. All right, so we're just gonna load. We have the top is full, but the bottom is only like half full. So we're just gonna do a small load and see what happens here. So we're gonna change. I guess we're gonna add in a couple more. For that matter, let's, oh, let's grab the, I just pulled something off. Let's grab the trays from the, the stove top. Show you my nasty. This is supposed to be Abby's Saturday job. So we have a full load after all. I'm gonna start that and see what happens to the little valve. Okay, it's going, but it takes for a minute for it to then start to... While we wait for the dishwasher to get going, actually, how was your day? Good. You guys had to play outside all day today in the freezing cold. It was like it's in the 30s. Torture. Is, it, is it torture, Charles? No, it's not torture. It's not torture? We made hot cocoa and brought it out to you though, right? Did you guys like that? Both well, didn't like it. Both made colder. Don't no, they didn't. That? I think it was just really cold today. It was in the 30s. It was in the 30s. Yeah. yeah. One side it might have been like 32. 
Yeah, it was really, really cold. There was the actual okay. ice on the hill. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Was, when Kate yeah. first, or, yeah. When um, my friend came to the park in the morning, one of the puddles on the swing was like was frozen. frozen and yeah. Icy. No, it got down to like 31 last night. And our neighbor brought us these little meringue, we used to call it, I think, divinity when I was younger. But they taste. might taste good in hot cocoa. We could try it. It's like a marshmallow. You it's could try like it. It's like lucky tar marshmallows, kind of. Well, it would just make the uh, hot cocoa taste pepperminty. I think right? fixed it. So here, can't really tell, but it leaked out. Why? I don't get it. So I'm going to have to be editing here on my computer for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to watch probably like a Netflix Hallmark movie or something like that for the rest of the night. I didn't like do a full day or anything. Um, Jason came home and started to try and fix the dishwasher and that air spout, so I just thought that I would film him doing that because we just, we don't know what's wrong with it. So if you know what we can do to fix it, I'm kind of behind enough that I might actually find out from you guys what's, how to fix it before we find out how to fix it. Um, but also, I just wanted to explain, like I said, I had, I didn't plan on filming today, so I don't have makeup on. Let's see what, what way is better light for my face. So I didn't really explain <laughs> why I put up that video of Kauai. If you follow me on a regular basis, you'll have seen that video already. It was very random, out of the blue, didn't like say anything about it. I did it in the description. I'm trying to like get better at my editing skills and especially for our travel videos, they're like some of my favorite videos to watch over and over again after the fact and they draw a lot more attention right now than like my daily videos and so I can draw attention to our family from our travel. So I'm trying to make them better and sometimes when I watch old videos I'm like, oh, I, that's kind of cringy. I'm not gonna do that, you know, again in the future. And so I had done this video practicing with old footage from Kauai last year from our trip and I was trying to like do some new things and techniques and music and all that kind of stuff to practice so that I'm ready to go with videos when we get to Hawaii next year. The problem with that is that I like, it's a slippery slope when you start looking at old footage of Hawaii. <laughs> you just fall in love with Hawaii all over again. And I just kept going and I kept going and I kept going. And suddenly I had a video, like start to finish. And I just fell in love with it. And I'm on a Kauai Facebook page and a Maui Facebook page. As we've kind of gone through this quarantine, we were kind of debating on whether we were gonna cancel Maui altogether because it was it ended up costing us more money. So then I joined the Kauai Facebook group because they kind of are going on a different standard of um, shut down travel requirements. And so I wanted, these Facebook pages are really good for updates on like people locals and also other people traveling to the islands and the testing that you have to get. So it's very like informative for me to be on these pages. And so I had joined the, the Kauai one and hadn't really paid attention to it once we decided Maui was where we were gonna go. But then when I realized I had this video done, edited, really cute. I was like, well, I'll stick it on the Kauai Facebook page and see if they appreciate it, um, which they did. I think they're, it's, they like it so far. And then someone else com commented on the Maui Facebook page. He kind of just had like an insight post or something. And so I responded my own thoughts on his question and then added the photo or that added the video to my comment. And so that's where that video came from. I didn't want to explain it in the video. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna link it right here. You'll understand why I didn't want to have any explanation in the video. It just is Hawaii <laughs> to what what we wanted. Anyway, so I expect one of those videos to come out for Maui when we get there, but that's where that video came from. That's just kind of where it, why that video was kind of plunked down <laughs> into YouTube, like out of the blue. But anyway, so I'm probably gonna end our night now because I'm, like I said, I just, I didn't plan on this today and I don't look great, but if you have any ideas how we can fish, fix our dishwasher, I mean, it's the dishwasher and the air spout thing. I don't really understand it, but we're so sick of like problems with our appliances and with our kitchen and house. I, the fireplace turned off again today. I don't, we don't know if it's like an actual electrical problem in this circuit now because I plugged something into that outlet that we fixed last week, yesterday, and now the fireplace keeps shutting off and it's 30 degrees outside. So <laughs> I just, if you have a solution for us, please put it in the comment below because I'm done with having appliance problems. 
And no, we don't pay to have someone come and fix it unless unless we run out of sources to try and figure it out ourselves. That's just the, that's just who we are. I know that people that are in that trade have a job to do and whatnot, but I just don't want to pay for the labor. I'd rather just make my husband do it and give him some ice cream. That's just <laughs> that's just me being honest. So anyway, take care. See you next time on another appliance breaking. Who knows? 2020 is not over yet. Please. I really want 2020 to be over. I don't think 2021 is going to be the magic answer, but a lot of good is going to happen right in the very beginning of the year. It's giving me hope. Do you guys have something to look forward to in 2021? Leave that in a comment down below. Sometimes if we can live vicariously through other people's excitement, that gets us through a day. Today, I got to live vicariously through another person that I found from my channel commenting about her going to Hawaii next year and we just had the funnest conversation. I don't know, remember her name. I'm gonna find out what her name is. I'm gonna give her a little shout out today because I want her to know my computer's being really slow. So we're gonna hang out here while I figure out her. Elizabeth? I don't remember her name. I, when I do it from my phone, I can't see the names very well. I just want you to know, like that was so fun for me. It's not like a burden for me to comment and respond to your comments because we went back and forth like 10 times and having this little conversation about Hawaii. And I don't have very many people that I can talk to about it. But if it's other topics, like it really does make me happy to have conversations with you guys. Sorry, I'm looking up her name because I really want to like say thank you. It really does help to have an interaction with you guys. What do you want to see on our channel? What are you interested in? She was like binge watching my old packing videos for travel and what what do we buy at Costco and you know she doesn't have a membership and so I suggested that she go to Costco and get a cash card you don't have to have a membership to buy a, a cash card and then she can go to Costco when she gets to Maui and buy all her groceries without a membership so I love these conversations and I cannot pull up like all these key things keep pulling up on my computer okay I'm gonna here it is her name is coming up coming coming. I'll be amazed if it's Elizabeth. It is! I got it right! Elizabeth T. Anyway, it was really fun to chat with you, Elizabeth. And fingers crossed. We have fingers crossed for both of us to get to go to Maui next year. But what are you guys excited for in 2021? Because we need to have some hope. We need to have something to look forward to. It can be very small, you guys. I'm looking forward to my birthday and something that's very exciting that's happening the day before. I'm not getting anything for my birthday. I'm not asking for anything. We're not having a party, but I'm really excited about something that's happening the day before my birthday. Just gonna leave it there. If you guys can guess what that is, put that in the comment below. If you haven't figured it out, we like your comments. That's it. Take care. Good night. <laughs>